CES 2026 and this year was mostly about incremental improvements and more companies making similar stuff. Competition is good. One ongoing trend was making things lighter and higher resolution. Lots of accessories being added to VR and uh, other forms of gaming. The Haptics had a cheaper 16 motor vest on display and their gloves. This cute kids version of a Bugatti caught our attention with a fun little added extra just to get people's attention. The cars had screens in lots of new places and they were using transparent screens to put animated imagery on the windshield which could be amazing and dangerous. We'll see. There were a few flying cars slash helicopters dotted around, some drones and a vast array of robots. I felt like the robots were fairly traditional fare, like you were seeing stuff that you've seen before. Um, whether they were improvements it was kind of hard to tell. Um, mostly it was just a lot of companies um, making similar kinds of things really. This footage of the uh, robots fighting uh, kind of feels a bit like what, what we saw last year actually. There were a number of furry robots for kids with AI features. This one was our favourite. At the end of the day CES is a lot of walking and Julie missed her opportunity to try the massage chairs but found her kicks elsewhere. Brought to you by the Phoenix Gene. Available for MetaQuest and Steam in VR.